Good evening, fellow deadheads. This is Coulson with another Dead Show review, this time coming from just outside of Washington, D.C. in Maryland, my home state, from the Capitol Center. September 2nd, 1988. Awesome show. The show starts out with Phil Lesh on lead vocal with Hell in a Bucket. Pretty interesting song. And then that song stops for the crowd to cheer, show their appreciation for the band. Then they start jamming out to They Love Each Other, which is a very awesome song, but it's a little bit uh, different than how they usually play it. It's like a little bit more mellow, uh, more heavy on keyboard, just more of a bop along kind of song rather than like a blah, 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 song, if you know what I mean, which you probably don't, but it's cool. And then that song flows pretty well into uh, New Minglewood Blues, which is pretty seamless. My favorite part of this show uh, is when they sing, or when they play Scarlet Begonias into Fire in the Mountain. It's like 20 minutes in total. Uh, they just stretch out these songs over like a really long period of time, and they just jam out, and the songs flow so seamlessly and so beautifully into one another. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome song. Just going back to what I said earlier about how the crowd just absolutely adored this show, uh, when the Grateful Dead started playing Scarlet Begonias, they had been just tuning their instruments for about a minute to ensure that for this whole Scarlet Begonia's Fire in the Mountain song, they'd have perfect tune, which they did. And they just jumped into the first note. They played that first note in the riff of Scarlet Begonia's and the crowd knew instantly what was about to go down and they were just going nuts. After Fire in the Mountain stops, the show continues to go smoothly, just pretty smoothly into like a mellow, but still with a rock tone for the rest of the show. They play Terrapin Station pretty slowly, like a little nice, chill, bopping along song. Just an awesome song to just hang out and just vibe to. Now, one kind of interesting thing about The Grateful Dead that not too many people know about is their drum and percussion section. They had a percussion section that's about four or five times the size of a regular band. What, like that a regular band would have. They have just any percussion instrument you could fathom back there behind the stage. And they go uh, after Turpin Station to play uh, just the drums, just a, a drum riff for about eight minutes. And it's just a fun song to survive and listen to while uh, Jerry and Phil and Bob can take a break. Later on in the show, they'll play another one of my favorites, Sugar Magnolia, stretches on for 12 minutes again, just easy listening, just bopping along. Uh, fun songs to listen to. They just jam out and have a, have a great time. Everyone's having a great time with these concerts with the Grateful Dead just, just jams out. They can just go for so long and stretch these songs out that, that they know so well, that have been playing for so long, and the crowd just loves every minute of it. The show comes to an end with the song Black Muddy River, which carries out the same tone. Uh, the show basically had a little bit of rise, a little bit of fall, and Black Muddy River is a great way to close it down. The crowd loved the show. This was a good concert. Goodbye.